You wanna make sure that you're totally on your side. The side of your legs should be facing the ceiling. You will feel this one in the outside of your hips and thigh. For the steamboats, you wanna make sure that you keep the leg attached to the band straight and your toe flexed. A slight bend in the standing leg to help you keep your balance. For abduction, you should feel this along the outside of your hip and thigh. For extension, you should feel it on the back of your thigh. For the adduction, you should feel it on the inside of your hip and thigh. And for flexion, you're gonna feel it on the front of your hip and thigh. For the hip hikers, you wanna make sure that your hips are pointed forward. You're gonna slowly raise the hip that you're not standing on above the height of the other hip. Make sure you don't lean your trunk forward. And this is a very small movement, so you wanna make sure that your core stays stable and solid. For the step downs, you wanna make sure you're pushing your weight through your heel and sitting back with your backside. Keep your knee, toe pointed straight ahead and lightly tap the floor with the heel of your foot. With the vector reaches, you wanna make sure you get your balance first. Then you're gonna reach forward to the side in the back, lightly tapping as far away from your base foot as you can. Slightly bend your knee, but keep your knee in line with your toes. In this one, you're gonna feel all throughout your hips. For the bridge with knee extension, you're gonna press through your heel, lifting your hips level with your knee and shoulder so your body is in a straight line. Continue to press down with your heel as you hold it. You should feel this exercise in the back of your thigh and your backside. For the plank, you're gonna lift your hips up until your body is in a straight line. Tighten your abs and rotate your tailbone under so you have just a slight curve across the back of your spine. And this you should feel in your abs and you wanna hold it until you start to lose form. For the grab a pin exercise, you want to make sure you keep your standing leg straight and you're reaching out with the same arm as the leg that is lifted behind you. Bend at your hips, keeping your back straight. And this one you will feel in the back of your thigh and buttock. For the clamshells, you want to make sure that you're totally on your side. The side of your leg should be facing the ceiling. Avoid rolling your hips forward or back. And you want to keep your heels together while you slowly raise and lower your leg. You will feel this one in the outside of your hips and thighs. For the hamstring stretch, you want to make sure that the front leg stays straight and the toe is pointed up to the ceiling, foot flexed. Keeping your back straight, you want to lean forward at the hips. And you should feel this in the back of your leg. For the heel cord stretch, you want to keep your heel down and your toe is pointed straight ahead. Keeping your back straight, lean forward at the hip toward the wall. For the hip flexor stretch, make sure your front knee stays at a 90 degree angle. You don't want your knee to go past your toe. Keep your chest up and push forward at your hips. And you should feel this one in the front of the back leg. For the piriformis stretch, you're going to lay on your back and cross one ankle over the other knee. Grab behind the knee and hold that leg towards you while you push the other knee away. 